What is a perfect voicemail for prospecting? My name is Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. I did write the book, High Profit Prospecting. If you like this video, click subscribe because I put a new one out every week. The perfect voicemail for prospecting is designed to do two things. One, it is designed to create interest and to create a callback. Now, let's not kid ourselves. The vast majority of voicemails are never going to be called back. And that brings up the next piece. A voicemail in and of itself doesn't do you any good at all. It must be in conjunction with other things. But let's put that aside and let's get into the three components that make up a good voicemail. The three components are, one, the greeting, two, the message, and three is the call to action. Now, here's the key. The whole key is to keep it tight. When I mean tight in my book, I talk about 12 to 16 seconds. No longer than 20 seconds, because here's what you need to do. You need to make sure that your voicemail communicates that you respect that person's time. Now, let's not kid ourselves. That person is also listening to this voicemail to determine whether or not, are you a person who they want to engage with? That means you have to let your personality come through, but it has to be energy. Now, let's break down these three components. Component number one, the greeting. The greeting is simply, hi, Bob. Hello, Sue. My name's Mark Hunter. I'm with The Sales Hunter. That's it. Don't worry about titles. Don't worry about descriptions. Don't worry about anything. Your whole key thing is just do the greeting and state who you are and who you're with. Your title is irrelevant. The main piece is the message. The message must be something of compelling interest to them. Susan, I've got new information regarding changes regarding something. Call me. I can be reached at 402-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da, and you state your phone number. Now, here's the whole key thing. Remember how I, how I said, Susan, I've got new information regarding updates. So you see, what I'm doing is I'm sharing something timely of interest to them. I'm not giving them the answer. I'm encouraging them to reach out to me. Now, chances are I know that they're probably not going to call me. That's okay. But see, when I take this voicemail, this 14, 16 second voicemail, in those three very tight parts, let me walk through. Here's what it would be like. Susan, I'm Mark Hunter, the sales center. I just uncovered new information regarding changes in what's going to be expected for next year in our industry. Susan, love to have you call me at, and you give my phone, and you give your phone number. Thanks, Susan. Again, Mark Hunter, sales hunter, at, and you give your phone number. Now, you notice in the call to action, my call to action really was, I want you to call me. I stated your name, and I gave my phone number twice. This is so key. State your phone number twice, and when you do, state it clearly. 999-999-9999. You have to make sure that you state it clearly. Now, this is what's key, because you're doing this all within really 14, 16 seconds. Now, okay, 14, 16 seconds might be tight, but I know you can do it less than 20 because you're only leaving one valuable sentence, the message. Susan, I've got new information regarding changes in this. I have an update to this. New, it's, it's compelling and it's timely. This is what's key. When you do this and you leave that type of voicemail, and you follow it up with strong emails and other phone calls. In other words, you're not allowing one voicemail to be it, but it's in conjunction with. And here's the key thing. Make sure that each message you leave is a different message statement. Now, what do I mean by this? I'm not sitting there saying, I'm continuing to repeat the same thing over and over again. Because I'm assuming that you heard it, you got it, but you didn't respond. So my next message must be on something else. Now, I can come back in an email and say, hey, I've got that information for you that I talked about in my voicemail. I can do that. I can do that in an email. And I'm linking it together. But remember, I can't let the voicemail stand out there alone. Hey, here's the whole thing. I want you to go down to the description. I've got an ebook I want you to grab. That's my 50 prospecting truths. You want to pick it up? You want to get it? Hit the subscribe. My name's Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. Great selling.